Hey y'all, it's Wednesday, you know what that means. It's time for another episode of the Catalog Project. What's up guys? Good to see you. It's been a, it's been a wild time here in Texas. Uh, we lost power for a while and uh, just recording this after work. So yeah, I have a little pile on my cassette deck that's just kind of like the, the next in line, I guess. Well, I'm talking about the player deck. Y'all know what I mean. Um, yeah, it's like the next in line list that I'm going through over the next few weeks. And uh, I was like, man, I'm missing, I'm missing one. So we got it today. Aloe Island Adventures, Aloe Island Posse. Got this in the Future Funk Classics box by uh, Business Casual. I want to say that was in there with Summertime EP, uh, Righteous Groove, and yeah, this one. Uh, it's a good time. Uh, anyway, got the tape itself. The new hotness. Incredible. You've seen nothing. It's phenomenal, but uh, reversible J card as is tradition from Business Casual. You know, nice plastic cases, always good time. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. Let's roll the intro. All right, y'all. Y'all ready? We ready. This one's got a long lead. I'm always like, did I hit play? Thank you for your attention and for choosing to fly with us today. Mahalo. Such a jump in energy. It's, it's good. I really like the bass tone. I also really like this, like, the song that they picked for it. I think I only have one channel in my head though. Hold on. Oh no. Sure enough, we're good. We're back. Technical difficulties. We're bumping now. That's the way it ought to be is always such a weird, like, phrasing to me. I don't know why. It's all I want to do. So punchy.
Another song I really like the bass work on. It's super nifty. It's just super punchy. Like, it's just... It's so, like... Ugh. It's like, ah! It's the wall, dude. The wall of sound. those quick little just like one two three fours oh that's nifty i like the little bit of panning there with the drums Drum hits have so much oomph to them. I love this little horn bit coming up here. The guitars are nice. are all like existing samples but the way they're mixed is just so good well quick guitar is underneath that bass line's killing it slap bass underneath oh. It's one of the things I needed after work today. Solo bit. Oh, it's further off than I thought. I 
like it's super cool. It's a great use of a note, like a new song to just fit the vibe, like tell the story we're on here on this island, going on adventures. Which I, I choose to interpret as a night on the town, man. Speaking of which, this transition is sick. Little hand drums coming in, the guitar lead. Oh, it's one of my favorite tracks on the album. Everything comes together, it's just satisfying, like a little, little groove. Again, broken record at this point, but I think the bass is really well done. Just the tone, the way it's created there is just such a, like it's, 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 it's it just got mwah, chef's kiss. Ah, it's so good. Super tropical. Good groove, man. It's a great way to drop the song out, and then we're just gonna like full horns. Let's go. Party time. <laughs> It's so cool. We got our suits on, walking down the street, not being not cool. We hit the scene, ain't nobody not there. Like it just oozes cool. So good. So good. Like I challenge you to not be like groove into this album. If you haven't heard it before, you thank you for finding my channel. so good it's so good
it has no right to be this good. We done with side A? It sounds like we're done with side A, which, uh, let's let her wrap on up. Pull a halftime report. Welcome to halftime. So, currently a 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5, 3 out of 3, whatever score. Top tier. God, this is not my slept on, too. Like, I, I had it, and I, like, just didn't listen to it. I'd, that's more common than you think. Um, especially with me. Like, I'll buy something and be like, oh, cool, and then just never listen to it. And then I'll, like, pick it up, like, I don't know, six months later, and be like, why didn't I ever listen to this? Put it in, be like, whoa. And I'm just like, Josh, you could have been grooving to this the whole time instead, you know. That happened uh, with Cat System Corp. I, I I bought like a box that had like three of his tapes in it because I liked the I liked the art. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And then I just put them on my shelf and was like, oh, I'll get to them. And then I threw in like Audi and was like, <laughs> all right. So uh, Audi's also not in the pile. That's got to get in the pile. Um, but yeah, hold up. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna hurry this 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 along. You have finish. Thank you. All right, and we're back. Back to Steve with sports. God, dude, the in and outs are so long. This song's also super cool. I think it has my favorite moment on the album. That bass going nuts! Can you imagine showing up for band practice and your bass player is going this hard? this drop everything out let's build it back up oh i'm a sucker for this kind of stuff and that kick hit heavy that bass going again it's going even higher so cool how are you gonna put something that cool on a on a, on a tape man
Hope y'all are just vibing. You know, hope we're all just vibing here. interlude I hang out watch a safety video like an abrupt change of tone and just kind of resets you. It's nice. Also, I didn't feel like uh, doing the animated background thing that I did for the first two, so you're just getting my desktop shuffle. Hope it's all right. Maybe I'll just put like my vanity video under here at one point. Just be like, hey. That'd be cool. Some background loops. I'm sorry. almost sad like after how upbeat everything was now it's kind of like a all right Like all the little melancholy improvisation there, just like.
What do y'all think of this album? What's your favorite Future Funk release? Do I own it? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, now we're at the festival. Let's go to the festival, y'all. Where is this from? It's great. I've never actually paid attention to the lyrics before, and I'm just like, ah, oh, nice. Yeah, it's a nice one. Then again, bass is on point. Everything's punchy. It's impactful. It's got oomph. I love the like underwater bass or the outside to club music. The song just feels like a little bit of a DJ set to me. And I mean that in a good way. I like it. Just throwing stuff in, got your loops going, you're just like, what is I put in here? When can I hit the change up? When can I stutter the drum? real punchy like I don't know what was done to like the samples and the songs but like everything's so punchy the drums hit the bass is like fucking going You're just like all right
little dropouts, just like stuttering. Ah, it's, it's a cool little track. Well, that's fun. Did you have fun? I know I did. It's a good time. Yeah, you know, what do y'all think of uh, Aloe Island Posse, Aloe Island Adventures? Is it one of your favorites, too? Um, it is for me. But, um, yeah, what's your favorite Future Funk album? Let me know. I'm, I might have it. We'll listen to it if I got it. If I have it on vinyl, that's a trickier beast. I have to figure out how to split the output so I can get it to run in to the uh, mixer. Because it doesn't have an aux out or like a like a quarter inch out. Not that I know of anyway. I'll look. Because if it does, then problem solved. But if it doesn't, the, the heck we doing? But yeah, yo, um, thanks for tuning in. Hope hope y'all's day has been pretty chill. Uh, again, happy Wednesday. We'll see y'all next time. Later.